Zoe, and in this video, I am going to be talking about how to dance to a Salahi rhythm. So, uh, first I will talk a bit about the rhythm, how to recognize it, where it is found, and then I will go into the movements and specific steps that I commonly use for this rhythm, so that when you hear it in music, you have some ideas of what to do. So, the Kalahi rhythm is a faster rhythm. It's in 2-4, so that means there are two beats to the measure, so we count it as 1-2, 1-2, right, as opposed to other rhythms which are in, say, 4 or 8, or other counts. Um, and you can think of the Kalahi as either a sped up ayu or a sped up maksum rhythm. So the ayu rhythm to review goes something like doom ta doom te doom ta doom te doom ta doom te like this. And if we speed it up, we just get doom ta doom te doom ta doom te doom ta doom te one two one two doom ta doom te doom ta doom te. So that is one version of the falahi, and another version you might hear would sound a bit more like a sped up maksum. So the maksum is the rhythm in four normally. It's one of the most common belly dance rhythms, and it goes doom tek, tek, doom tek, doom tek, tek, doom tek. There's already a video on how to dance to that rhythm. But when we speed it up, we again get something like doom tek, doom tek, doom tek, doom tek, doom tek, doom tek. So instead of going one, two, three, four, doom tek, tek, doom tek, we're going one, two, one, two. Right, so the Falaki has this very fast feeling to it, um, and it's quite an exciting rhythm. So you will find it a lot of times towards the end of a Bellady progression, uh, the Bellady song, which usually would start out slow and then gets faster and faster as we go through it. So the Falaki will come in towards the end of that, and it's also quite common in drum solos in certain types of folkloric dance as well, and you might find it in other places as well, which I'll say, things like that. So it definitely comes up a fair bit, so it's a good rhythm to be able to recognize and be able to dance to. So, what kinds of steps can we do to a falahi rhythm? One of the most common steps for the falahi rhythm is actually a group of steps would be any type of three-quarter shimmy. So you can do the three-quarter shimmy up, something like that. One, two, one, two, one and a two, one and a two. Or a three-quarter shimmy down, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Or um, the hagada, which is also a sort of a version of a three-quarter shimmy. So this one, adding the twist and the pelvic tilt. Um, again, there are technique videos for all of these movements. I will link them in the description as well if you want to check those out. So, any, there are other variations of three quarter shimmies you could do, of course. You could go on releve, moving around, all sorts of things. Any three quarter shimmy is great for a falahi rhythm. Another step that I like to do a lot in the Falahi rhythm is this step that I call the toothbrush movement. And yes, there is a video on this one, but just to review this one is I usually do it on releve, and I'm basically walking and doing a hip twist forward with the front hip. So twist, 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 right? On the other side, twist, twist, twist as we're moving. And for a fun variation, if you have time, you can add a level change. So you can do releve, plie, releve, plie, releve, plie. So that is a fun movement to do to the falahi rhythm. Another thing you can do, which is a great thing to do, as I think I've mentioned before, when the music speeds up, is sometimes to not get all out of control uh, with the fast music, but actually just walk, 
right? So we can walk around, we can do different foot patterns, say a grapevine, crossing, yeah, coming back, or um, this box step forwards and back, something like this. Just any kind of walking also can work well to a Salahi rhythm. And the final step that I often like to do with a Salahi rhythm would simply be to shimmy. So, shimmy in place, and of course, with shimmies, there are infinite variations you can do. You can add some hip movements to that, hip slides, camels, ummies, you can do chest shimmies, um, one leg. There's zillions and zillions of things you can do with shimmies. So that's actually, even though that's only really four movement categories, it gives you a ton of things to play with. And of course, this is not exhaustive and you can do all sorts of other things to a Palahi rhythm. But just having these in your mind as a base, I think is a good start for being able to dance to this rhythm. So to review those movements that I like to do to a Palahi rhythm are the three-quarter shimmies, including ups, downs, kagalas, all sorts of three-quarter shimmies, the toothbrush move, the hip twist movement, walking around, possibly using foot patterns, and shimmying. So let's put on a Falahi rhythm and try all of those out. Thank you so much for watching and happy practice.